our next guest is known for his approachable cuisines that are delicious and healthy. In my opinion, and everyone else's, I'm sure, he is the pioneer, really first up to the plate to make us rethink about the way we eat. I have every single one of his cookbooks, and his latest one is Seven Ways, Easy Ideas for Every Day of the Week, and it's out now. Please welcome the great Jamie Oliver. Jamie, how are you? I'm very well, Drew. Lovely, lovely to be with you today. Excited to cook with you. Oh, it's so lovely to see you, Jamie. I am so excited. You had me at this dish, creamy linguine pasta with shrimp. I am freaking out. Uh, creamy pasta is my number one favorite food on the planet. It just is. And the great thing about this dish is super quick cooking. It's really delicious. It feels like something exciting and not boring. So I hope you're going to love it today. Are four you ready to cook, my half, darling girl? Are you... Four and a half minutes, Jamie? That's yeah. insane. Absolutely. So all you need is to get a pan of boiling water. Um, I've got a pan, large pan, on a kind of medium-high heat. Um, if we just look in front of us now, Drew, we've got... The lovely linguine. We're using fresh today, which is super quick to cook, but you can use dried or any other pasta, no trouble at all. Uh, we're going to use a couple of little curveball ingredients in this. We're going to use a little red wine, which, you know, we always love a bit of red wine, right? Cheers. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of surf and turf going on. So we've got smoky pancetta or smoky bacon. Mm. So uh, how's, your, how's your knife skills, Drew? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to put the bacon in the pan. We want to get that nice and light golden. We want to get that smokiness coming out. Just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Beautiful. That was going to be and my next question was, do we need any oil with the fat of the pancetta? Just a little bit. Yeah. And then we can have shrimp time. So, um, look, you can buy all kinds of shrimp. You can get them cooked, peeled, unpeeled, big, small. And if you want to de-vein them, it's very simple. Just grab that prawn like that. Very carefully run your little knife down the back, and then remove that little vein there. And then what you've done, essentially, oh. is butterfly the prawn, or the shrimp, sorry. I keep saying the wrong name. No, I love it. I like when you say prawn. Keep it coming. Um, we're going to slice some garlic, a couple of cloves of garlic. We're just going to finely slice. So you can just run your knife through that. Um, I've got some boiling water. So this, this fresh pasta only takes a couple of minutes, so we don't need to rush that at all. If your pan's looking nice and sizzly, uh, we can put a couple of your big shrimp in the pan now, like this. And then also I'm going to just put my knife through some of the shrimp and chop it up a bit. Okay. So it sticks to the pasta really nice. And then we're going to introduce um, some red wine. Now, normally when you cook seafood, everyone's always talking about white wine or rosé. But red wine is really good in this dish. A little swig of nice Italian red wine into the pan, and that will sizzle up, and that will boil. And then as that wine cooks away, Drew, just go in with a nice heat teaspoon mm. of this beautiful mascarpone cream there. You can oh. use single cream, whipping cream, but I this mascarpone is delicious. love mascarpone. So listen, you lovely girl, um, <laughs> rocket, or arugula, as you call it in the States, um, that is a herb, and we're going to use it as a herb today. So we're going to chop up, roughly chop, the beautiful rocket. We're going to now, in your pan, if you have a look at, little look at mine, you can see that that cream has almost cooked away and the yeah. wine as well. Nope, Jamie, gonna... mine looks nothing like that, just so you know. I'm really okay. sorry. No, no, th this is a very generous, lenient dish, so don't you worry. But what's going to happen is as soon as I take some of this linguine, that water is the secret ingredient, right? That's starchy water. So that's going to bring that sauce back. And what we want to achieve is a silky sauce. And don't be afraid to keep adding a little bit of water, just a little bit, to make it elegant and saucy. So at this stage, Mr. Cameraman, please come in. But also, see this. Look, look at that lovely texture. Does not look anything like yours. Mine looks all one color, which is not, it can't be right. I promise you, you will not regret this. Now, my, if my cameraman can get in for a close-up, that is our beautiful dish. Finished, plated up, a little bit of olive oil just to kiss around the outside. Hallelujah. 
That Come on, Drew Barrymore. I believe in you. I feel the force. You, I'm, I'm gonna need it, and I'm actually, I'm not gonna lie, I'm turning to Lauren's pasta because it's much better than <laughs> mine. And do you know what's the most important and exciting part of this, Jamie? Go on, girl. Tasting it! Yay! <laughs> Go oh on, girl, God. slurp it up. Um, Don't hold back. Um, um, um. <laughs> Oh my God, Jamie, this is incredible. I know, I told you. Uh, I told you. Jamie, let me ask you, do you have a favorite cookbook and do you have a pick for cookbook club? Yeah, I do. I brought it in especially for you mm. because I love you. I love so, you. Here is, uh, is a, it's a collection of books. There was 20 of them. Uh, it's called In Buka, which means in the mouth. And there's some really old recipes, some bonkers recipes, and some classic recipes. Um, but they're really hard to find. So there you go. That's my favorite little cookbook. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to put it on my wall. It will be facing out. It will be loved, poured through. Thank you very much for having me on the show. I loved it. I love cooking with you. And keep up all the great work. Oh, thank you, Jamie Oliver. And look, I'm going to put this in my mouth, just like the cookbook suggests. <laughs> Go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com for the full recipe.